Yo, welcome everyone. For the past hours, we are experiencing quite a significant drop and a rejection on Bitcoin because the triangle breakout failed miserably. We are going to notice that yesterday Bitcoin grinded its way towards the upside and suddenly we hit the top of our massive horizontal range at approximately 71,300 US dollars. And since then, we are right now seeing a push towards downside already of approximately 3.6%. Now, the rejection at the top of our horizontal range did not happen randomly. When you go with the Adler Stochastic CG Oscillator to look for some bearish indications, first of all, you are going to notice we are seeing the double top pattern being formed right here, bearish indication of Bitcoin. Of course, another thing we need to make sure is that we are trading at an area of resistance. At the top of our horizontal range, it's never a good idea to actually be looking to go with a brand new long or a buying position and many traders went with a brand new short or a sell position. You're actually going to notice that when we pay attention to the open interest indicator on the trading light platform right here, you're going to notice a significant increase of the open interest, which means money coming in the market. The CVD indicator seeing a push towards the downside, which means bearish pressure coming in the market. People are shorting Bitcoin and they are able to push the price lower. And what you're going to notice right now, we are simply trading at the bottom of our horizontal range on the four hour time frame. So one thing that I want to point out right here, we knew that Bitcoin was forming and trading in some kind of a triangle. And because a lot of people are paying attention to this, of course, most probably it is not going to trade well. Of course, if you paid attention to our last video, you knew that we do have the top of our horizontal range right here. So definitely we are not interested to go with any breakout trades. Later in the video, I am going to share with you some trading ideas where we can be looking for a brand new long or a buying position of Bitcoin because we do have a brand new area of support slightly lower, but nevertheless, at the moment with the rejection towards downside, Bitcoin simply hit the bottom of our horizontal range right here. And also, if you go with brand new daily high term time from support level, you're going to notice that this specific daily level was unfortunately broken towards downside. So what can we write now say for Bitcoin? Unless we are going to see the reclaim of this brand new daily level at 69,650 US dollars, unfortunately, we need to agree we most probably are looking for lower targets to be hit. Why is this daily support level right here such an important area? Because when we are measuring the entire upper price action with volume, you're going to notice value area low, the volume support level, or actually in this case, the volume resistance level is also aligning very nicely with this specific daily. So if we are going to see acceptance back in our value area low right here, it is going to be a sign of strength. And only then I would actually say, okay, the bottom for Bitcoin most probably is right now in, and we can be looking for higher. Why so? Because the liquidity below our previous low right here has already been taken. But what if we are not going to see acceptance back above our value area low and the daily, and we are looking for lower? The first important target is going to be our liquidity level or a swing failure pattern at 68,300 US dollars right here, which is aligning also quite nicely with our old daily support areas right here. But only a couple of hours ago, we confirmed even even better level support. Now, before we do talk about that, you can trade with us by getting limited time bonuses using the links below after initial deposit because there are three very good options ready for you. Now, what is going to be a very nice support level if Bitcoin in the upcoming hours is going to continue lower and do not see a swing failure pattern below our previous low at 68,300 US dollars. What we are actually going to do right here, we are going to go on the weekly time frame because today is Monday we actually got a brand new weekly high term time frame support level formed at 67,300 US dollars. Now let's go on the four hour time frame and let's zoom out a little bit because I would like to measure the entire upper price action with our volume. You're actually going to notice that the point of control, the biggest volume cluster of the entire upper price action on Bitcoin is aligning literally to the exact dollar accuracy with our weekly high Trump time frame support level at 67,300 US dollars. So I would say like that, this support level 
on Bitcoin looks very, very nice. Looks almost perfect, I would say. So if we are not going to see a sign of strength, that being said, reclaiming our daily level right here, and maybe even we are going to then continue lower without a swing failure pattern, the best support level, in my opinion, for us to right now pay attention to is simply going to be this specific brand new weekly level at 67,300 US dollars on the Bitcoin price itself. Now, another reason why this specific weekly level, it's actually right now very, very nice level on Bitcoin is because when we talk about the trend, right, we all know that for the past couple of days, for the past couple of weeks, for the past couple of months, even we are trading in a significant uptrend. Four hourly, two hourly, one hourly time frame. If we go with our exponential moving averages, it looks like we are trading in an uptrend. And one very important thing is that our 500 exponential moving average on the one hourly time frame, I wouldn't really say it's perfectly aligning with the weekly, but nevertheless, dynamic support level is going to be very, very close towards our weekly high term time frame support level on the Bitcoin price itself. So, to be honest, as of right now, even if we are going to go lower, I am staying bullish on Bitcoin. I would like to maybe even see this specific support level being hit because, of course, it is going to offer us a very nice long or a buying position. But nevertheless, if there is going to be a sign of strength, if we start reclaiming our resistances right here and turn them into the areas of support, bullish indication, and already I would say we are looking for higher targets to Bitcoin because we are going to say, okay, it was the fake out towards the upside, everyone got tracked. It was the fake out towards downside, everyone also got tracked right here. But because because we are then seeing a sound strength, we can already be looking for higher targets on Bitcoin to be hit, maybe even in the upcoming days. Now, a bullish indication is also happening on the RSI indicator. Why? I would right now still say do remain bullish and do not really simply be bearish right now because of this specific push towards downside. If we go right now with the RSI on the four hour time frame, what you're going to notice for the past couple of hours, we are still seeing higher lows being formed on the price action itself, lower lows being formed on the RSI. RSI indicator, which right now means we are seeing hidden bullish divergences being present on the four hour time frame, which is, of course, going to be a bullish indication for the Bitcoin price itself. So, if we do see a push towards the upside, if in the upcoming hours Bitcoin is able to reclaim our daily area of resistance at 69,650 US dollars, what should be our first very important level for us to pay attention to? We are going to go on the daily time frame because most probably in the upcoming hours, we are going to confirm a brand new daily high term time frame area of resistance at 71,400 and 1.5 US dollars right here. So this right here, it's going to be our first important area of resistance if Bitcoin does see already higher targets. Of course, this specific daily level right here, it's aligning very, very nicely with the top of our horizontal range. So what can we right now say? If Bitcoin is able to see a push towards the upside, a bounce from the bottom of our horizontal range right here, yes, our next very important level is going to be the top of our horizontal range. But here you need to understand, we are going to retest the top of our horizontal range for many times. If we right now say that, for example, this right here was the first three retest, second retest, third retest right here, fourth retest, it's already going to be the fifth retest of our area of resistance, which means more times we retest the area of resistance, the higher the likelihood we are going to see a break towards the upside. So I don't really think that this brand new daily level right here, it's a strong area of resistance. So because of that, most probably we are simply going to look for another higher height to be formed on Bitcoin. So what are going to be our trading ideas for today? I would say we can be looking for a long or a buying position at this specific area. As we said before, if we are going to see a sign of strength that being said the daily level being reclaimed stop loss approximately below our previous lows because if we are once again going to then see a push towards downside we are most probably looking for at least breaking this specific low for a potential swing failure pattern or maybe even better hit our weekly and only then do continue our way much higher towards the upside now if you want get yourself some free bonuses after initial deposit with the links down below and thank you for smashing up the like button